So you want the good news or bad news first? Bad news. The bad news is that I was gonna tell a really funny joke today about today's ingredient, pineapple, but the internet is like littered with inappropriate jokes. I'm gonna pray for the internet. I know, we gotta pray just, yes. right now, just touch right now. Bless oh. the internet. Oh, hallelujah. God bless him wherever he is. <laughs> But I did find a really good like pickup line, sort of, maybe. Girl, if you were a fruit, you'd be a fine apple. <laughs> you use that this weekend, let me know how it goes. <laughs> I come back all like. <laughs> but the good news is we are cooking up a dope recipe. I'm gonna have you in and out of the kitchen in about 20, 30 minutes, depending on how fast you can multitask. We are making a ginger pineapple chicken dish. And the really cool thing about this is that it incorporates fresh ingredients. And for me, the summertime is all about freshness. So I want you to run out, go grab a pineapple, and then your, your choice of protein. I use chicken, but you can also use shrimp, tofu, maybe some lean beef, or some peas. Yes, peas are also super high in protein, and they actually provide a really good balance for this dish. All right, y'all, if you are ready to roll up your sleeves for this family-friendly recipe, then let's get started. So the first thing we are gonna do is prep our vegetables and make our sauce. So we're gonna start out first with the pineapple. We're gonna slice it down the middle, and I know this is not a vegetable. I know I just said prep the vegetables, but I meant prepping everything together. All right, here we go. Get yourself a really sharp knife, cut right down the middle. And then I'm just gonna make a grid on the inside of it. And if you have a grapefruit knife, you can use that, because you can just cut it out, and it comes right on out or you can just use a spoon if you don't have that. Okay, so for the sauce, we are gonna keep it really, really simple. So you can either add some water or you can buy a can of pineapple and use the juice from there. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of half and half. So, and this is a good method, especially if your pineapple is not as juicy as mine was. And a little bit of water as well. Boom, add in some low sodium soy sauce and then some fresh ginger. And you add in as much ginger as you would like, so do this part to taste. And then to make this restaurant quality, we're gonna add in our old friend, a little bit of arrowroot. Stir it up, and then you wanna taste it, and then you wanna add in whichever ingredient you think it needs most of. That's actually pretty good. I think I'm gonna add just a little bit of water. Now we're gonna prep the rest of our vegetables, so we're gonna chop up some bell pepper. We're adding different colors because we want to make this as vibrant and colorful as possible. Okay, now let's fire up the chicken and bring everything together. Uh, I've got some chicken thighs here. If you wanna use some chicken breast, you can. I'm gonna season it up with a little bit of salt. I'm gonna keep it pretty plain because we remember, we're gonna add it to the sauce. And if you want a little bit of heat, you can use some red pepper, but I prefer adding in some sriracha. Mix this up. Place the skillet on high heat. Once it's nice and hot, spray it with some oil. In goes the chicken. And we're gonna cook this all the way through. Take the chicken out the skillet. It's got a nice color on there. Let it rest before we chop it up. Turn the heat all the way down here in the skillet and let it cool down some. Once the skillet has cooled down quite a bit, just wanna scrape it for some of the burnt pieces just to help to deglaze the bottom of it. We're gonna pour in our sauce. It should not be bubbling whenever you put it in. And when you see it start to bubble a little bit and turn shiny, that's when you know it's starting to thicken up. So reduce the heat just a little bit. And you gotta watch this part because you don't want your sauce to get slimy. And it's reached that consistency. Perfect. Add in some of the pineapple. This is just the consistency that we want. Take it off the heat. Chop up the chicken now. So whip up some rice. I have cooked up some fresh basmati rice here. You can use whatever rice that you prefer. You can use some brown rice. You can even use some quinoa. We're going to add in some of our chicken, some of our freshly chopped veggies. And most importantly, don't forget our beautiful ginger pineapple sauce. Hold and toss everything together. Yeah. And Jesse, who eats in the Fit Man Cook Kitchen? Everybody, everybody. Everybody eats. And for my plant-based warriors, we're gonna add in some frozen peas. 
and let them defrost and thaw out under the heat of the rice and our pineapple salt. And then for family style, add it right into your pineapple. And then finish it off with any of the remaining sauce. And just like that, we got our ginger pineapple chicken boat. And for our plant-based warriors, our ginger pineapple and pea boat. Which one are you? All right, and for the taste test, I will do the hard job. Someone's gotta do it. You know, I'm gonna go with the plant-based one. Okay. Here we go. Ooh. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's really good. <laughs> um, the peas actually provide just a little bit more sweetness too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What I like about it though, is that the sauce is actually pretty light and it's got a hint of pineapple, but that ginger is really pulling through. And I, I love ginger. You gonna taste it? Yeah, man. In all its glory. <laughs> I'll eat that over the peanut butter and jelly I brought for you <laughs> I'll eat that. Could you make this for your family, family style, and have everyone eat out of a pineapple? Definitely. You would do it? Yeah. You would take the challenge? I feel like the kids would love that too. That is it for today's recipe. Super easy. I hope that y'all really enjoy it. You can do this for your meal prep. You can do this for a family dinner, or you could even do this for a dinner party. I think this is a really fun idea to eat out of fruit, and it's also really light and flavorful, and it's super easy to customize. If you like vids like this, then I invite you to smash that like button below, and remember to subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to ring that bell, so that way you can be notified every time we post new content here in the Fitman Cook Kitchen. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, keep it healthy, but of course, never ever boring. Boom! Bye, y'all.